Located in the western Pacific Ocean, Guam is the largest and most populous of the Mariana Islands. This island, only about 30 miles long, is the closest you can get to Asia and still be on American soil. Guam is now home to about 170,000 people, and its importance for the U.S. military has grown over the years amid tensions in the area. Guess who received a D-plus on their report card? America's public schools when it comes to infrastructure. Millions of students attempting to learn in buildings that are run down, overcrowded, and unsafe. Even before the pandemic, some schools already pose health risks to students and staff and are in desperate need of maintenance. Nationwide, people are already getting their votes in for the presidential election. But there are millions of Americans that will not be able to cast their ballot for the next commander-in-chief. Those Americans live hundreds of miles away from the mainland and are often forgotten, the U.S. territories. From sending the first Artemis mission to the moon to launching the James Webb Space Telescope into space to several countries setting their sights on Mars, these are just a few of the things planned for 2021. Perseverance will make its landing February 2021 and will stay on the Red Planet for at least one Mars year, which is about 687 Earth days. With so much left to explore on the Red Planet, NASA hopes to send the first humans to Mars in the mid-2030s. And then on the other hand, you have California. They're trying to set an example. They are the first state in the nation to require all public and private school teachers and staff to get vaccinated or they get subjected to weekly COVID testing. Ministers from the various Pacific Island nations held a meeting this morning at Adeloup to discuss the future of culture, arts, the way of life and tourism for their countries. According to Pacific Community SPC, the government directors are upbeat about the potential growth of arts in the Pacific. Another delay for the construction of the new Simon Sanchez High School after the Department of Public Works received another protest from Cortec International. Here's more. The construction of a new Simon Sanchez High School is on a standstill after Cortec International has filed another protest with the Department of Public Works. The Department of Public Health and Social Services also had their budget hearing earlier today. I requested $60.3 million from lawmakers. Here's what they had to say. In the last year, the island saw a rash of fight videos going viral online. Some appeared to be planned in advance outside of school grounds, others in the heat of the moment on campus. Our top five story of the year, the video that affected the community the most. The video showing a one-to-one -one aide getting physical with a special education student at Ukuru High School. Welcome back to our Philippine Independent Show. I'm Rosal Romanes, your co-host for this show. Janela Carrera brought you some Philippine history before the Spanish arrived. So now I will talk about Spanish rule in the Philippines spanning three centuries. Here at George Washington High School, GDOE employees and volunteers had to clear out and prepare 64 classrooms for the incoming delegation. Pursuit. Police say 40-year-old Vincent Quintaniza was the man operating the suspect vehicle. Quintaniza allegedly led the officers on a high-speed pursuit through several villages, cutting in and out of traffic and ramming patrol cars that were trying to block him off. Hot day, Guam. I'm Rosal Romanes with this week's community calendar. First up, in an effort to clean up the island before the 2016 Best Pack, the Island Wide Beautification Task Force is calling on the community to participate in the Island Wide Cleanup scheduled for May 7th. For more information on how you can get involved with IBTF programs, call 4759383. The new hotel will have 340 guest rooms, a fine dining restaurant, a bar, a pool, a banquet hall with capacity of 600 guests, and an amphitheater. And coming in for Janela Carrera, I'm Marcel Romanes. Thanks for watching and have a good night. Good night.